What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we're finally gonna be getting that 7 series in here, and just, just, just fixing those disgusting wheels. We got a rear emblem, we finally have a rear emblem, and we're gonna be placing all the emblems on all four wheels, and we're also gonna be painting each of the wheels to match the car. I think a full out murder theme on the 7 series is gonna look so good. And once we get the bumper and pretty much the whole car assembled, we're gonna be taking it back to the paint place, we're gonna paint match the bumper, we're gonna actually re-sand the fender, get that paint match, and we're actually gonna be fixing the rear bumper as well, paint match that as well. So we're gonna try to pretty much get it all paint match, and then we're gonna go ahead and get the whole car, um, what's it called, polished out, and bring that paint back to life because I can I can only imagine how beautiful that car is gonna look once it's perfect. Our first issue that we need to fix right now is that rear wheel. The rear driver wheel has one lug nut that's stripped. So we need to try to get that out somehow. So the number one goal is to get that wheel off. Once we get that off, then we can go ahead and lay out all the wheels and start painting them. So that is our number one goal. So hopefully we can get it out. I don't know how long it's gonna take, but um before we actually get into that. I gotta give you guys your shout out <laughs> because you guys have been absolutely destroying it. I'm pretty sure actually the plates and the face masks are literally almost sold out. From the last video, I know I said the same thing, but they're literally like so close. There's a few more orders on each one and they'll be officially gone and that is the end of that. This is probably the last video I'm gonna be shouting out those things. So if you guys want face masks or the plates, they're not coming back in a very long time. I know the mask never again and the plates uh, will might come back in a couple months, six months to a year, but nowhere anytime soon and not that model either. It's gonna be completely different. So if you guys want some limited edition stuff, make sure to go down below, cop them, and you'll be shouting out in the next video the same way these people have right now. So again, thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. Thank you guys for supporting me. Let's go ahead and get the i8 out, get the 7 Series in, and try to get that rear lug nut off. I'm really hoping we can get it off somehow. So, first things first, look how ugly these wheels are. They're just so bad. I cannot wait to sand this thing clown completely. I'm gonna try to get these rough edges out also and uh, completely sand those down and then hopefully get it all painted and replace that center cap, polish out those wheels and tires. We're gonna have to get a lot of products from Walmart, but I do think once we get all that situated, this car's gonna be looking a ton, ton better. So first things first, which one of these are the stripped one? One of these are completely stripped from what I remember. I believe it's that one right there. So our goal is to get that one out. If we can get that one out, we are golden. All right, wish me luck, boys. Let's go ahead and try to get this bad boy out. Guys, this car just wants to cost me more and more, but it looks like I'm actually gonna need a bolt extractor socket. This thing pretty much has all the heads from, I think, yeah, eight millimeters all the way to 19 millimeters. We need the 17 millimeters, uh, but possibly the 16. So, I mean, this pretty much has everything. So, 30 bucks though, mm, gotta do what you gotta do. Sheesh, <laughs> oh my God, I love this car. I think we might need one more can of black paint. I have like two other cans from another car. I think my F30 wheels. Uh, so I still have some cans on that, but we're gonna need a screw extractor set and a black can of paint. So hopefully we can find those two today. If not, this is gonna be one long day trying to get that one bolt out. There's nothing better about having a job that should have only took five minutes uh, be about a two to three hour uh, minute job. Don't ever over tighten your lug nuts. You don't need to. As long as they're tightened and you're torqued properly, you're good you don't need to freaking air torque them or something anyway i'll catch you guys when we get to harbor freight like it's something in the air at that time don't know why always dream of you when spring comes it's like the heat on my skin takes me by to the time that you want to all right, guys, you got the things that we need. Um, you can also apparently get 20% off if you just ask them. You got They had a 20% off coupon, so we got this for 25 bucks. I mean, hey, it's better than uh, not saving anything. I'll take that for sure. Guys, this is F80 M3 behind me. That is so sick. 
That's crazy. It's like a white M3 plus the red interior. I think it's, oh man, I love F80s. They're so clean. So now that we have the sockets, the 17 is what we need. So let's go ahead and pull that 17 out and just try it. I don't really know how this works. This isn't your typical screw extractor. So uh, I hope this works. I have no idea. Guys, I'm so upset. This thing is fitting in there really snug, which is great news. And uh, I cannot move it from my life in either direction at this point. Um, I could put my, uh, my my ratchet on there and try using a breaker bar and I could probably break it loose or I could probably break my $20 tool. And uh, this single tool for $20, I'm not really trying to replace it. Harbor Freight does have a breaker bar that's a 3 8 instead of a 1 half. This is a 1 half. I need a, I need a 3 8 And it's only 10 bucks, but it's from the exact same store that I got this from and it's about 10 minutes away. So unfortunately, uh, another 30 minutes wasted. Let's go head out and get the right breaker bar. You guys will see me in about 30 minutes, roughly. We are officially back home with the new breaker bar, breaker bar, whatever you call this thing. I believe I got the 3 8 I honestly did not even check. I really hope this is the right one. <laughs> anyway, let's try this. Hopefully we can get this lug nut off. Oh my God, I've been trying to paint these wheels for the last two hours. This should have been literally a five minute job, but it is what it is sometimes. All right, guys, literally nothing is getting that strip bolt out. I cannot figure it out. I'm gonna have to take it down to Le Schwab and see if they can get the strip lug nut out, but it is not coming out for me. I'm gonna give him, I'm gonna go ahead and give him a call real quick. Right, I just realized they're closed, and to be honest, I'm gonna go ahead and try to attempt to return these. They are absolutely a piece of garbage. Like, they didn't even do anything. They, they actually just made it even worse. They, like, even when just looking at this, I couldn't actually believe this could actually get a strip lug nut out, and it was $25 on, like, with a coupon? That's ridiculous for tools that literally are garbage. Literally, I'm never gonna use these because they're garbage. So I'm gonna go ahead and package it all back up. I'm gonna take it back to them, see what they say about it. But uh, I'm gonna at least try to return it because it is absolute garbo. And I'll tell them to look at this video, worst comes to worst, if they don't believe me, that they think I took out the screw and I'm just trying to return it. No, I literally could not get out their screw, even with their screw extraction kit and their own breaker bar. Like, it's not working, so. I'm gonna go ahead and keep the breaker bar because I'm gonna need it regardless, but as for this, I'm taking it back. Well, that was a significant waste of time. At least in, the, in, the, in another note, we do have a BMW emblem, so let's go ahead and throw that on. Actually, we have three different kinds. I do think they, I do think this is the nicest one of the bunch. So let's go ahead and throw this emblem on, and we actually got this thing from Amazon. I'm actually wondering if this is gonna look any better than one currently in the car. These are just small little mods. As for the big things, again, guys, we're just waiting on parts. Uh, one of you guys actually reached out to me and got two complete headlights, so I don't have to order any parts, and I can actually sell that headlight. Like, so shout out to one of you guys. I'll announce his name and everything once I actually get the stuff. But yeah, huge shout out to him. It's gonna be able to replace both of these with way better condition ones and all the modules, which should probably knock out 10 or 15 lights on the dashboard um, and finally stop draining our battery because when bulbs are bad or where the headlights are bad and it's constantly draining energy, uh, this causes a huge issue in terms of the whole electrical system and the car itself. So I don't even wanna replace the battery. With bad headlights, it's gonna drain the new one again. So can't wait to get those in. I should be getting them in by Wednesday according to FedEx. So uh, hopefully the next video of the seven series, you guys will be seeing that. Um, but as for now, Let's go ahead and jump into the, uh, let's go to the rear real quick. Just add this emblem, add this little mod right here as well, and then we'll figure out what we're gonna do with the wheels, but uh, this really sucks. If you guys can see, I've been putting in work. Again, disgusting. I'll be going in and replace this in three, two, one. Oh my God, guys. I went from a 64 to a 72, and apparently this is an 84. Oh my God. This car is something else, guys. Let's go ahead and put this ugly thing Disgusting. Back on and uh, order in 84. Oh my God, at least let this work. Jeez, my goodness, this car. So now that we're in the interior, um, this is just looking absolutely terrible. Let me show you guys the before real quick. So this is the before, it's absolutely disgusting. And uh, I looked up online and there's apparently a way to just upgrade the plastic stuff here and not actually change out the whole thing. Cause everything apparently is working. It's just, this is just so ugly. We already replaced all this stuff and it's looking a lot better. Uh, uh, over here on this side of the camera. This stuff you guys saw, we already replaced it all. I'm just, I really like the details and have everything super, super, super clean, no more peeling. So all this is looking good. It's just this now is just so ugly. So let's go ahead and try to remove this. I heard you just gotta push something in between there and just kinda like force it out. Doesn't even matter if I scratch it anymore cause I'm never gonna reuse this ever again. Hi 
right, guys, so this thing looks so much better. Look at all these leaves from the cabin air filter. Oh my God, I, I, it, that's just terrible. But anywho, check that out, guys. The transformation of the center cost is looking a lot better. We just need this to be replaced. Once this is replaced, this whole car, this whole interior should be looking literally mint. Like this was messed up, considering that this was messed up, this was messed up, the door handles were messed up, the sunroof was messed up. From the interior cockpit, this is looking a lot better, obviously, other than all those lights on the dash there. But other than that, everything else is looking really, really, really good. I also just realized that this is one of those cars that has a little cubby here, which is kind of cool, not gonna lie. This isn't cool at all. Oh, dang. Oh, my lord. It literally looks like he put another piece of leather over it. Oh, it's terrible. Like, what is going on there? Any hizzles. <laughs> Check that out. That looks so good. Um, actually, didn't have to, you probably didn't have to remove anything, to be honest. You can literally just set this on top of the stuff that's already there, and everything will work as it's supposed to. So that is super, super, super cool. Just a little mod, it costs about $20. Again, it's on Amazon. I'll link it down below if you guys want it, but that makes your control look like the newer ones and it just looks so much better. As for this, you guys know that ours is peeling and everything, so this is all situated as well. I really want to do the wheels today. Uh, I guess in the meantime, let's just go ahead, uh, since we're not gonna be driving this car anyways, let's go ahead and try to remove the headlights, get them out, uh, and then also do the ozone thing in the car. So I wanna put the ozone machine inside the car and get all that smoker smell outside of the car. It smells so bad. So let's go ahead and get the ozone machine in the car and uh, just start letting that thing run. I never used one before, but if you guys have a smoker car, just make sure you put this in the car and it's supposed to apparently take care of all the smoker smell. All right, so guys, the first thing you do is you set it at about 30 minutes and uh, we're gonna go ahead and take this in the car. Make sure it's not plugged in. You don't wanna inhale any of this stuff here. Uh, I went ahead and plug my extension right there and we're gonna go ahead and just put it probably on the driver's seat because I feel like that's where all the smoke has been so primarily on the driver's seat I might put it on the center armrest in the front and just face it towards the front okay so that's where we're gonna leave it right here and uh, make sure the car is turned off close the door so we just have the cable sticking out right here and now guys you can pretty much just connect this so now that we have it plugged into the wall and we have it inside the car set at about 30 minutes Let's go ahead and just plug this boy in. You guys see that purple thing in there with the red light? It basically means it's working. It's set for about 30 minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and let this do its thing for 30 minutes in the front. We're gonna do it 30 minutes in the rear seats. And we're gonna do it 30 minutes in the trunk. So as it's doing that, it is already getting dark and I ruined the whole day trying to get that one wheel out. Lesson learned, I'm probably gonna take that down to a shop, get it professionally taken off uh, so we can finally paint all the wheels and just take care of it, just all the cleaning behind the wheels as well. It's really gunky and disgusting. So we'll get all that sorted as well. Um, as for the front end, let's go ahead and remove both headlights and um, just assess the damages that's going on probably on this side because I really, really am curious to why this headlight's not fitting right. Like the gap is really, 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 you should have a whole finger in here. Why is it that bad? So let's go ahead and try to get this headlight out, get that headlight out and uh, just assess the damages and uh, see what's missing in both of these. Are the modules actually in there or whoever that had this car took out all the modules, sold the modules and threw the headlights back on the car. I'm very curious. I'm not broken. Guys, so we just removed the two under the, the panels that go on both sides. You can see a bunch of dirt. So we're gonna go ahead and wipe this down as well. So we can put the panels back on. This dirt doesn't come back up uh, to haunt us again. Uh, what I noticed on this side, the headlight bracket from the radiator support is cracked. So we're gonna do a little bit of plastic welding to get that bracket back on there, um, which is a little strange because this does look like to be the good side. I mean, this headlight looks to be in good shape. I mean, the headlight itself on this side looks to be good, just the bracket. It looks like I'm not really 100% sure. We're gonna have to look into that. We'll take out the headlight and diagnose it. It's also missing the things here. I see one module there, but um, hmm, this is just really, really weird. What's also another weird thing, I noticed that there's some metal right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Hold up. It looks like this car has pre previously been in an accident, and um, I don't know. It looks like they just never replaced this part because this looks like they bent it back. Looks like they bent it back there, and this just looks messed up. Like. So after hammering that metal piece back in and trying to screw this back in, look at that, like there, there is no thread. So um, it's honestly not that big of a deal, I don't think, but it is kind of just kind of like making me think. What, okay, so obviously this is a salvage title, 
Um, but he said this accident was new, so maybe he was actually saying the truth, so it was in two accidents in the front. Not really too sure because I don't understand how anything could be damaged here when all this is looking pretty good. So it looks like he's probably been in a previous accident, went salvage title, and then he got in a second accident over there. Again, let's just go ahead and take apart everything over there and over here, take out these headlights and get the full story and just look underneath and see if there's any other hidden damages. <laughs> because, oh my God, this, this car just keeps wanting to surprise me. All right, guys, so looking at this side, the bracket actually looks, ah, uh, okay. So it turns out this isn't the radiator support right here that's broken. This is the, 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 the headlight bracket. So the headlight bracket that mounts to the radiator support is destroyed right here. And uh, it just comes to show it's definitely been in another accident. Even this is way bent out of whack. Um, right here. This can definitely get fixed. Not a big deal. This fender is perfectly savable. Um, but over here, at least nothing else looks damaged. No hidden frame damage, anything like that. Nothing looks buckled. Nope, that looks good. And this looks pretty straight. The other side, I guess the headlight bracket is out of whack, to be honest. Like, look at this side compared to this in proportion. And look at this side. This side looks like the headlight bracket's going inwards. So... What's going on here? It looks like the bracket that's actually holding this is bent this way. So it's causing the whole headlight bracket to go inwards and I guess that's what was causing this gap right here. So uh, this headlight bracket does seem surprisingly in good shape. The tab is good right here and the other side's actually broken surprisingly. So I actually would imagine this side's broken because this side was the accident portion. Um, but I guess there was another accident. There definitely was another accident. Some weird stuff going on over there. Uh, but yeah, over here, if you look at the gap here to here, I can put about my finger sideways completely. And on this side, I don't know if you guys can see, I can't even put my finger in there. There. So that's how it's supposed to be on um, this side We're gonna have to remove the headlight bracket and bend the whole bracket back But once you actually fix that that's actually we get to go We don't even look like we need to buy anything here. Um, just a lot of dirt. We need to vacuum out um, And this actually looks a little bent itself, too So yeah, we're gonna have to play with this accordingly because it adjusts the fender it looks like so We'll play with this as we're playing with the headlight adjustments and everything once we get the new headlights in um, But that's all looking like yeah, this is a replaceable part. It's got a bolt right here uh, and it's right here as well. So thank God that is a replaceable part right there. Bolt, bolt, that's perfect. So if anything, we'll buy a new piece right here. It looks like this tab on the bottom is good. This tab on the bottom over here is good as well, which is great. Looking at it from the back, we are missing one module right there, another module right there. Um, and we're missing the two caps up top as well, which is kind of weird. I don't know if you guys can see all that. Um, and there's just a bunch of dirt in this headlight. So we're gonna have to clean this out. We do have one module there, two caps, uh, another module there, and uh, we're missing the cap back here. But this one, surprisingly, the one that's messed up has more modules on it. So what I'm thinking is, let's go ahead and remove these two caps from the broken one, put them on the good one. And uh, what else does this one need? This one also needs the side module and the bottom module, but this looks like it is left dedicated. Um, and this one is right dedicated. So these are not interchangeable. Let's go ahead and remove this module though, cause we need to keep that and remove this one. We'll keep this as well. Remove these two top pieces. The tab is broken up here. It's completely destroyed. This tab is broken. One of the tabs on the bottom are broken. So yeah, this isn't really usable. It might just be good for parts. So we'll go ahead and start gutting this thing. We need, we need as much parts off of this as possible. able to salvage from the cracked headlight so we were able to get this module out not really too sure which one this one is exactly um, but it has to do definitely with the daytime running lights because it was the only thing that was working on there uh, in terms of the turn signal I do think this looks shot uh, so this might be junk but it was worth pulling out it might be worth something I don't know I probably would junk this as well the only thing that is good is definitely this module, which we might be needing for the other headlights. I don't know if the other headlights that the subscriber that one of you guys are sending comes with all the modules, so it's better just to save these just in case. And it's better to save all these screws because when you buy modules, typically for some reason, people don't like sending you the screws. So now we got all this, 
We'll put that right here. I'll throw this in the backyard just in case I might need some parts off of it, but I don't think I will be. We did pull off the two caps that came off of this one, so we're able to somewhat assemble this headlight. Again, this tab is good. That tab back there is good. The two tabs on the bottom are good on this headlight, and this whole headlight seems to be in good shape, so it seems like we're, we're at least winning somewhere here. This module is there. Uh, this cap is here. Uh, we're missing the module over there, and we're just missing the module that's over here on the bottom down there. So this is otherwise a perfect headlight, which I'm really, really, really happy about. One of you guys sent me out the full pair, so I prefer to use the pair that they sent me because it came off of the same car. And typically when you get a pair of headlights, both lenses on both sides look about the same. So I might just sell this headlight as is, but at least I have one good headlight that's worth some money that belonged to this car. That is definitely good news. Our next mission is to just pretty much clean up all this gunk. There's a lot of debris and garbage and dirt. Let's just try to vacuum as much as we can and at least get the big chunks out of there. Alright guys, so I think I gotten a little bit better now my finger is kind of snug when I push it in which is, you know, it's a sign that this is getting a little bit more adjusted. I'm gonna keep trying to hammer this out and keep trying to bring it up to like right here. This is where it needs to be um, because other than that, the rest of the bracket's fine. Apparently this metal thing and this plastic thing is all one piece and this bracket's about $100 used. So it's just bent. So I'm gonna keep trying to work at it, try to fix it, try to bend it back and then we get to go on that. While we're doing that actually, it looks like the Ozon finish in the front. Let's go ahead and put on a mask. Uh, we need like a really good mask because we don't want to inhale any of that Ozon and just move the Ozon to the rear uh, window and get, get the rear as well. Cause this is such a big car. I want to do it twice in the car, one in the front, one in the rear and even one in the trunk just to get all that smoker smell out of the car. So uh, let's go ahead and sit you guys up, put on that mask and just move that thing over. Okay, that was a mission. Oh my God, I can actually smell that. You don't want to smell it. I was holding my breath that I was going inside the car. I have the window ever so slightly cracked. I'm pretty sure mixed up with the rest of the air out here. Should be good. Oh man, once we do that, we're going to do it in the trunk as well. But meantime, as it's doing it there, let's go ahead and keep trying to fix that bracket. So we got the headlight bracket out. I don't know if you guys can see, this little portion here is bent and uh, this whole thing is slightly bent. So I'm gonna go ahead and try working on this. Again, this is a $100 used part and there's nothing actually broken off. It just needs to be bent back. So let's go ahead and work on that real quick. And again, we still, well, we're still waiting on the Ozon to finish up in the interior. Alrighty, so I bent the bracket as much as I could and, and honestly, I think it's good enough. So I'm pretty happy about that. It did take me about two and a half hours just to bend this back. But hey, I mean, if you don't got the money, <laughs> you got time. So we went ahead and strained this out to the best of our ability. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, we're gonna go ahead and try to install it right now. But, but before we actually do that, um, the Ozon is done. We're killing two birds with one stone. So the front is done, the rear is done. Let's go ahead and move the Ozon to the back of the car, open up the trunk, put it in there, and just let that do that. Still sticking to the mission, guys. It is getting a little bit late. My whole family's about to go to sleep. But um, let's go ahead and get that bracket on, get the whole car back together. And uh, I'll be really happy with today's progress. At least we got the smoker smell out of the car. Um, we fixed a little bit of small things. Unfortunately, we couldn't get this wheel off. We're probably just taking it out to a tire shop, have them remove that lug nut for us. And then we'll get all the wheels painted hopefully soon. I need to get some black wrap for the window trim. I'm gonna have my boy Alpine E90 actually pretty much do the entire body after we get all this stuff painted and paint match. I want him to actually 
polish the entire paint because black when it's polished is absolutely gorgeous. I think I've shown this car too much love and it still needs a new transmission. <laughs> the thing is it runs and drives just fine on the bad transmission. Um, so like I'm okay with it. It still runs and drives. Let's actually move to the front of the car. I think I'm smelling it. So as long as the car looks good and everything's put together and everything works and I have no other lights but a transmission light, your man's happy until he finds a good transmission. We might even end up modifying this thing. I mean, I'm, I mean, who knows? I'm just, I'm in love with this car. It's really weird. Alrighty guys, so um, let me go ahead and bring the light over here. As you guys can see, I made this pretty straight. It was about, it was, it was like this, literally this was touching this and pushing it back. That's how far back it was. This is as much as I can straighten up. And honestly, I'm very happy with this. Like this is a lot better. This should definitely help with our headlight gaps and everything. And also this can be replaced or pulled out or bent back. I mean, this is a pretty easy metal to bend. This metal right here was very difficult. But anywho, while we were out here too, I actually plugged in the ambient temperature sensor to pretty much take care of that code. It's throwing a check engine light and a bunch of other codes. So um, this should actually solve a lot of our issues. We'll just leave it tucked in over there. A bunch of our wires, everything, it's all good there. The only harness that was cut was for the PDC and that's a harness that can be removed. We can re-solder it, put it back together. So that's perfect. Everything that belongs to the car has not been cut, which is perfect. This, honestly, I don't really know if I'm gonna even replace it or even mess with it. These bars are going for more than M4 carbon fiber bars. Like this bar is going for like $800, which is not making any sense. The rest of the bar is absolutely perfect. If anything, I might have the frame shop when they actually paint the bumper, just pull this out and just make it even, if anything. So the hidden damages are not not too bad, but we did find a few extra things that we have to spend money on. I actually ended up deleting uh, the washer fluid system, the one for the headlights. I don't even need this feature. This one's snapped off the top, so I would have to buy a new one if I want to reuse this. Not a big deal. I think these run only like 20, 30 bucks, if anything, maybe even 40 bucks, something crazy. Uh, but I'm just gonna go ahead and remove this system entirely. I hate it so much. I hate this on every single BMW. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove it, and hopefully Nick can decode the feature out of the car so we don't have any extra water coming out of here. So yeah, guys, that headlight, pretty good. This one, pretty much just the parts headlight, if anything. So at this point, let's just go ahead and clean up all this disgusting stuff and clean up the other side, just make it look a lot better. Alrighty guys, so the engine bay is all back together. We fixed the bracket, removed the things we don't need. We actually fixed the bracket for this as well, for this cooler. So even that's lining up perfectly. I did use a zip tie down there because that little bracket for the cooler is broken, but it is what it is. I'm sorry for it being super dark right now. I'm telling you guys, it's super late at night and your boy's screaming in his neighborhood. I'm definitely going to jail one of these days. But anywho, it is looking so much better. And as soon as we get those two headlights in, the last piece we'll need is a bumper. And then we can start working on the undercarriage of the car and the paint and all the physiques because uh yeah obviously it's just this front end is throwing off the whole car and it's making this car look total so as soon as we get a bumper as soon as we get the headlights we'll be ready to rock and roll we did the ozone i've had the windows roll down for about a half hour i've been told that i'm not supposed to get inside the car for at least two hours i probably shouldn't even be standing this far away from the car with the windows rolled down our heater in the house just went out so i literally cannot take a hot shower it's going to be the coldest shower in the world and for those of you guys who are i don't know if you guys like i've ever tried this but if you go out for a long 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 run and you come home super sweaty and super tired you get in the shower the hot water is actually the worst you want the coldest water it's really refreshing it's very nice so for me to enjoy my shower i gotta go out for a run i guess that's a double win-win because your man hasn't been out doing fitness or anything and i've been on it for so well you guys know i was really good on it but now um i have been like a month or two without even hitting the gym or doing anything mainly because i've been just so busy with work and so busy with my life and so busy with moving 
moving into the other place. I cannot wait to show you guys literally everything. I cannot wait for me to finish college. I have one more semester left. So many things happening. And that's why, unfortunately, I am working in the middle of the night. But it's all good. It's all good. God bless. Life always gets easier. You just have to kind of bulletproof through. And it is what it is. Even when your heater's out and you have cold water. It is what it is. <laughs> so that pretty much concludes this video. I don't think actually you guys need to see this in an hour, hour and a half. I'm literally just going to move the car out. And uh, that pretty much concludes the video. Hopefully in the next video, guys, we should be getting the M4 back from the shop with the freshly new painted, put clear bra on the car, and head on our road trip to LA to get the crank hub done. That's literally the next job. So literally, we're gonna be getting the M4 back, we're gonna be throwing on the camera again because I ordered a new camera, clear bra the whole front end after that fresh new paint job that we have to redo again, unfortunately, and try to get plates, try to get actual plates. We do have a four month moving permit, but we're gonna try to get plates same day. So when we go to LA, we have no issues. Without further ado, guys, if you guys are excited to see the M4, smash that like button. We're getting a whole bunch of things from Keys Mortars for us. We started out the shipment. I'm even working with burger tuning, so this build is gonna be absolutely insane. And I'm already doing the crank hub, so you know, I, I can go full ham on the track, which, you know, I promise you guys I'm taking the M4 on, and I will, and I promise you guys, and I'm gonna I'm a pull through, y'all. <laughs> Without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Cop a face mask, cop a plate. I'm literally telling you guys, this is probably the last video I'm ever gonna say because it's gonna be sold out. These will never be on this channel, ever. Again, so cop these if you guys want something very limited. Without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.